in Russia, car drives you. You know, I really, really hope that Captain America, a.k.a. Steve Rogers, hit that before he became a capsicle. Please tell me Steve Rogers got that piece of Peggy. And it looks like my boy, Handicap Guy, which I should remember his name because of the same exact name as mine, Daniel. So you go get that. Welcome, guys, to another review of Agent Carter, Episode 5. And we see in this episode uh, Russia spies. Also, the Howling Commandos come back and they make an appearance. However, I'm pretty sure there's an Asian guy in the Howling Commandos. And I'm pretty sure they just used a white guy for the Howling Commandos. So, but I think everybody is still the same person from the previous Captain America First Avenger. Um, so, yeah. Did they really need the Howling Commandos? I thought the Howling Commandos in this episode was just, eh. So, this is going to be spoilers. So, I'm assuming you saw the episode. These are just my thoughts. I'm really just going to give you what I liked, what I disliked about it. Uh, like I said, the Howling Commandos was kind of... I don't want to say cheesy, but they it really wasn't executed like the firefights in the, uh, the last maybe uh, 15 minutes of this episode was just, it just didn't do it for me. The action was kind of not as good as we saw in previous episodes, but I did like how Agent Carter and Jack Thompson relationship really evolved. I mean, you see Jack being a jackass, get it? Being a jackass and pretty much, you know, always just bringing down Carter or oh, Peggy. Always saying that she's just a woman. She can't do this. She can't do that. But at the very end, Peggy saves his ass. And we do learn a lot about his backstory, uh, especially in a campfire. He tells one story, side of his this particular story that has to do with the Japanese enemy. And then he really goes back to that at the very end of this episode, which I thought was brilliant, was really, really well done. That's how you see the connection between Jack and Peggy. And you see when this all goes down to shit, you're going to see Jack really has sincere, you know, maybe feelings for Peggy and say, you know, she's more than just a woman. And you see that at the very end of this episode as well, when he invites her to have a drink with her. <coughs> Boy, does this just cry out Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow and the Russian spy aspect to it. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is going to be like, I think we're going to have Black Widow's backstory in the new Avengers movie, Age of Ultron. And it looks like they're putting some of that in this uh, Peggy Carter's Agent Carter of just these Russian spies. You see that one white chick who's crazy, who loves Snow White, but Snow White, I guess, has messages in them that tells these little girls to be trained killers. Why? How come every time when I saw the two little girls fighting, I was thinking Divergent. I was thinking Divergent for some reason. So, I mean, that was okay. I mean, the the actress who plays her does a great job until the when she, you know, enters Peggy's room, you know, she gets the key. She steals the key. Then she's leaving. She has that weird facial expression. It's, I don't know what the hell the actress was thinking because it was pretty funny. It was comical. Uh, other than that, I mean, the, like I said, the Howling Commandos wasn't, mm, they're okay. Uh, it's great to see them. It's great to see them, but they weren't really living up to their name. I mean, one dude got stabbed by a little girl and he's supposed to be the big Groot out of all of them. And, of course, the other dude got shot and he died. So, yeah. Oh, and the other guy got shot in the leg. So, Howling Commandos. Are you sure you served under Captain America? Other than that, then we see Daniel basically break it. Finally, finally figuring out that the blonde woman was Peggy. And he's pretty much trying to come to grips about it. And as we see in the next episode, you know, the highlights. Basically, I think he turns her in. Uh, I do I do think that that's her husband. That's her future husband. So Because you see him coming in the locker room. And he's, you know, they tease him. They tell him to go look at the other side. And it's Peggy changing. So, I mean, there's something there. There's something there. I'm pretty sure that's the husband um, that Peggy ends up marrying. Other than that, I really enjoyed the episode. We also, oh, we also saw Jarvis and as well as the captain talking. And we're learning more about Howard Stark. And is he involved with these Russians? Or do the Russians just have his plans? Of course, Howard's not involved. But basically, they stole his weaponry. Other than that, it was a good episode. Solid episode. A little disappointed with the fighting. Uh, Howling Commandos, even though it's good to see them. 
it would have been nice if they had everybody back in there. I'm talking about the Asian dude. And it would have been nice if they did more than just, you know, the cameo type deal. It was good to see Peggy getting through to at least one person, actually two people. The captain was impressed because Peggy was able to, uh, you know, translate the Russian language. So it's good to see Peggy really getting embraced by everybody around her who was doubting her. But that's all going to be crashing down in this next episode. So great episode. I uh, had a lot of fun with it. The Russian spy was intri- you know, intriguing because we know Black Widow, Natasha Romanoff. So we'll see what, where that goes. And we'll see what Daniel does in the future uh, down the line. I think he's going to be banging Peggy Carter. But we'll see. But Peggy, I really like Peggy's character overall. I really liked how she's pretty much saved the day at the very end. But come on, give me better firefights than that. Basically, it was like a Call of Duty game going into the house, but I think Call of Duty does it way better. So thank you guys for listening, and please subscribe, and please like the video for more. Until next, Agent Carter. See ya.